Yeah, yeah. So I really enjoyed how he used all of those different record labels in there, Tommy, Sony. Uh, that it's 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 ingenious, and it's one of my favorite tracks of the album. Again, that hard hitting track was called Labels. That was track number six. Like I told you all at the beginning of this review, this album. Once this album got released, there's always gonna be the conversation of who's who's better who's the best what album is good what album is great what album uh stands the, st the test of time this album stands the test of time critics 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 were highly 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 uh uh, uh amazed by the verbal <laughs> verbal intercourse the verbal intercourse on this album and again we're on track number six the production was just stellar from, from RZA, all right? So shout out to Jizza, shout out to RZA for putting together an album that's just, just so amazing up to this point. We're on track number six. We're going to track, we're going to jump to track number seven. Um, I'm going to give it to you all first. Let's go. Choose the sword and you will join me. That track is called Four Chamber. And and honestly, man, when I heard, when I first bought this album and I played that song and I played that intro, I had to rewind that intro a bunch of times. I I I, I did. Choose the sword and you will join me, which is in excuse me, the swordsman, the 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 the, the fighter, the Choose the ball, and you will join your mother, which his mother had already got killed. Remember, good in the movie, she got killed. So there's so much stuff to unpack in that little piece. You you choose the sword. He's trying to. He's saying to his son, "If you choose the sword, I'm going to train you. I'm going to teach you to to. You know, you're going to be with me. I'm going to I'm going to train you. But if you choose to choose that ball and you want to play." <laughs> man listen i i literally had to rewind that track back to the top a bunch of time because it was just it's it's an amazing um piece of an intro right there and uh that's track number seven that was called um fourth chamber and uh let's jump in some billboard numbers yo let's do some billboard let's go all right so billboard 200 this album was coming off of Remember, Method Man, Method Man had dropped before this, and I believe Old Dirty Bastard. Hit, hit the comments, hit the comments, hip-hop fans, let me know if I'm right or wrong about this. Old Dirty Bastard had just dropped right before this, too. So, um, so Billboard, here is... <sighs> Jizza maybe wasn't the most popular Wu-Tang member, because I believe Method Man, it was the first solo. I think Method Man was the first solo Wu Tang uh, member to get his his own solo album out of the, the the nine members. All right. ODB was loved too, and you, uh, ODB got an album. J even though even though Jizza was maybe one or two, one two one two three, one of the top three MCs on Wu Tang. You know, he didn't get he wasn't the one to get the first album, solo album to come out. So what I'm saying is coming off of meth, coming off of ODB, um, Billboard 200, it reached its highest number nine on the Billboard 200 charts, which is great for a hardcore album. Remember, Wu Tang Clan is not one of these RB grooves. The, Wu Tang Clan is a hardcore crew. All right, and back then they were dropping just street bangers after bangers after bangers, and we all know how people when they buy albums, uh, people are, people are finicky when they purchase albums. All right, so Billboard 200, number nine on the Billboard 200, man. So shout out to Jizzle for that. 